Good afternoon. Thanks for joining me for today's Lunch Learn. I'm Keith Armour. I'm the Education and Homework Support Manager down here in the Adult Learning Center at the Main Library. Today's topic for Lunch and Learn is going to be about Earth Day. We've had some interesting weather this week. Uh, the Earth is letting us know um, that it's still here. That's very, very important uh, to take care of our Earth. So we're going to look at some of the history of Earth Day, uh, some, something that happened a little bit before Earth Day um, that we started celebrating. This is actually the 51st anniversary of the very first Earth Day. So we're going to show you some resources that the library has for you, as well as tell you a little bit uh, of history as well. So let's dive right in for Earth Day. Okay, Earth Day 2021 is 51 years old and counting. Of course, you can celebrate Earth Day anytime, and the library has a lot of resources uh, that you can help celebrate Earth Day all the year round. And I'm going to show you some things. But first, I would like to go back a little bit and give you a little history. And one of the people that I would love you to do um, a real understanding and learn a little bit more about is this wonderful woman called Rachel Carson. Um, she wasn't on the earth for very long, 1907 to 1964, but she made a huge impact in a lot of different ways. She was a biologist, a very, very famous one. She focused on pesticides and how they impact wildlife. Um, during the 40s and the 50s, DDT was a majorly used pesticide. It was considered the savior of mankind because it got rid of a lot of really bad bugs that, we, that were destroying crops and all sorts of different things. But she did a study and found that um, that wasn't the best thing. Um, she also did a, a wonderful study called The Sea Around Us, that talked about um, the ocean and the impact uh, that mankind is having on the ocean. So in 1962, she published this book called Silent Spring, and it really woke up a lot of people in the United States about um, the environment and how uh, we interact as humans with the environment and how these pesticides can really affect not just wildlife, but also our own lives as well. And um, this book was really an inspiration for a lot of really key environmental legislation and creation. Um, the Clean Air Act was created just a year later. Uh, the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA was created in 1970. And even the Clean Air Water Act can go back to um, all of the research that um, Rachel Carson did um, on the sea around us and of course Silent Spring. You can learn all about her in a wonderful PBS documentary that they put out a couple of years ago um, that is on Canopy and I'll show you where to find that but she's a fascinating individual, a, a true scientist and way ahead of her time. The book of course was very very controversial when it came out the first time and, um, but it did such a great thing on waking up um, uh, America. And the title, Silent Spring, is really, it comes back from a letter that was written um, to uh, an editor of a paper that said that um, it wasn't from Carson, but it was a friend of Carson who wrote a letter saying that she used to always go to this you know, really enjoy spring because of all the wonderful birds and the songs that were out there. And um, this year it seemed like it was a silent spring. And so Rachel used that as a title to move on and to talk about pesticides and wildlife. So it's a great documentary. I'll show you where to find that. The founder of Earth Day, I remember the first one was in 1970, but Gaylord Nelson uh, was the founder of Earth Day. And I love this button over here. It says, save your Earth, you can't get off. Um, even though they had that great helicopter ride um, on Mars uh, the other day, which was great, unbelievable. Um, there's no, there's no uh, ticket that you can get to go to Mars yet. And I don't know if Mars would be a great planet to live in. Um, but 
Um, he, uh, Gaylord Nelson, was uh, the governor of Wisconsin and a U.S. senator, and he introduced a lot of this environmental legislation to ban that DDT pesticide, uh, to start the first standards for fuel economy in cars, and um, not only um, to control strip lining, strip mining, but also to rehabilitate the area after it has been strip mined. He introduced legislation for that and also to prohibit another um, pesticide called Agent Orange. So you can learn more about him through the library as well. He's got a great book as well that you could read. Now, here's another book from Hoopla. Every day is Earth Day, simple ways to reduce your carbon footprint. I just pulled a few of them off here, you know, combining your trips for less, uh, combining your errands for less trips is a great idea. Um, donating your, your clothes to Goodwill or St. Vincent de Paul, any of those, and then also purchasing clothes from uh, those areas as well. Um, trying to get away from food waste. That's been a big thing at my house. I've been trying not to throw any food away and um, trying to use everything up that I purchase. You can, of course, grow your own vegetables. We did a lunch and learn um, a couple of weeks ago about preparing for garden, and I made the warning. I said, hey, do not, do not start planting um, out there. And of course, yesterday was a perfect example why you don't really plant too much. You can plant some vegetables uh, in your garden. Uh, but you need to be very protective of them. Uh, but in a couple of weeks, that's the time to do it. Um, invest in rechargeable batteries. Um, it's a great way to cut down on waste. Um, and of course, reuse those, um, have those reusable bags or totes. Um, but there's all sorts of great ideas. It's a very readable book. Um, and it's available on Hoopla, and I'll show you where that is. There's all these great activities that are happening today, but um, Hamilton County uh, Parks is a wonderful system. Um, there's some things that are happening this Saturday at the Pyramid uh, Sculpture Garden in Hamilton. The Contemporary Arts Center is having a family spring festival. Uh, you can, there's another um, thing that's going on where it's electronics recycling drop-off. Check that out. And then Cincinnati Parks is having a, um, a California, at their California woods, they're having a green up day that there. And there's so many things that are happening around um, the community. So check that out in your neighborhood. And you can, of course, visit a local farmer's market as well. And of course, you can start a garden. Now, I got all of this information. I'm going to try to get to all of these in just a second. Um, but this is all from all of those resources. And these are the links that I'm going to show you. But I'm going to pop out of here and then go to our website. All right, we're at our wonderful website. We're going to go right up here to keyword and we're going to change it to subject. And we'll just type in Earth Day. Earth Day and hit search. And you'll see there's 67 results that show up. And there's a lot of children's materials, a lot of juvenile um, materials that are here. This is a great opportunity to really uh, talk about your own love of the earth uh, with your children or grandchildren. Check that out, or nieces and nephews. But there's a whole bunch here. You can change a lot of different things. You can do the publishing date. You can do the audience. You can even do um, just breaking it down under book or picture book or ebook. So there's a lot of selections here. Um, they kind of uh, fall more in the line of children's, um, but we're going to go to the audience and we're just going to click on adults here. And there's 10 that are specific to Earth Day. And there you see um, there's uh, Gaylord uh, Nelson's book that he wrote Beyond Earth Day, and that was out in 2002. Um, but then there's a nice biography about him, about the man from Clearwater, talks all about uh, the senator um, and the former governor of Wisconsin and how he was so instrumental in creating Earth Day for us. So there's some other items here. Um, so I definitely want you to check those out as well. Um, but the best way to do it is just go up to the catalog, change it to subject, and then type in Earth Day. You do not have to capitalize it, I apologize. My caps lock was on. So we're gonna to go to Books and Media, 
and we're going to come over here to stream and download. Let's take a look at Libby first. We're going to go to the browser, open it up. And of course, we've got our magazines. There's all sorts of different things, but I did want to point out this wonderful selection of Joy of Gardening. What a great way to celebrate Earth Day, Earth Day by uh, starting a garden or looking into starting a garden. And if you click here, you see all, and you'll notice all those available. And some of them, of course, are, um, that's an interesting one. Um, <laughs> Uh, but there's all sorts of, you know, how not to kill a house plant and grow food at your home. But you can see all of them seem to be available. So you want to check those out. Um, there's all sorts of them here. All right. So definitely check out that. I'm going to come back up here and go to search and just type in Earth Day. Now there's a lot of titles here. But I'm going to actually just click on Earth Day there. And you'll notice here are some other titles. You'll see that some you have to wait for, you can put a hold on, and of course, some that are available right away. So a nice selection. They say that they have 271. So there's a lot of Juvenile, but general adult, there's 98. So if I click here on general adult, you'll notice that there's some different titles. The Day the Earth Stopped. Um, that is not really about last day on Earth. So you have to kind of refine your search just a little bit to find out a little bit more environmental type um, books. Uh, here's one from Jane Fonda, What Can I Do to Help Climate Change? And also you can um, just click here to nonfiction and then you'll have all the books about Earth and how to um, really try to save Earth, okay? So we're gonna go back to streaming and download. We'll come over to Hoopla and we click into Hoopla. If you're outside the library, sometimes you have to put in your library card number and your pin, so just keep that in mind. I did notice that they have a protecting our planet section. And here's where I found the book, Every Day is Earth Day. So you can check that out. Uh, but they have a lot of other ones too. They have actually 63 items here. And of course, some of them are juvenile items, but Outsmart Waste, Why Do We Recycle? And it's very, uh, it's very important to understand what you can recycle and what you cannot recycle. And just there's a silent spring, so you can definitely check that out as an ebook. And with Hoopla, you can check out all of these items. All right. So keep that in mind. And I do want to point out one more thing that I discovered uh, last week when I was doing a little look. They had National Parks Week. And um, for a while there, I could find um, Ken Burns, the National Parks on Canopy. And I was really surprised when I look in Canopy, it wasn't there. But I was very, very pleasantly surprised to see that Hoopla has it. And Hoopla is um, something that you could um, watch on a laptop, on a computer, and also on smart televisions as well. You can download the app and it tells you all about how to do that on here. Um, when you look into it. Um, but there is the National Parks, the Ken Burns series that was out um, a few years ago. Oh, in 2009, wow, 11 years, 12 years ago almost. So um, it really was talks about um, all of the national parks and how it was started and what our responsibility is. So this is a great series and it's totally free to check out. So. Um, check out both of those. That would be the national parks. And then, of course, you want to check out this protecting our planet, small steps you can make to make a big difference. Um, speaking of canopy, let's go back here and scroll down to, and remember, I'm in the stream and download section of our website. And if you would be more than happy to give you a library card. And right here on View Browser, 
Now, I've already started re-watching it because I watched it several years ago. But if you just want to type up here, Rachel Carson, and you'll see right here, click there. And uh, the subtitle is The Woman Who Launched the Modern Environmental Movement. And it really is a wonderful documentary. Um, the PBS did it a few years ago, but this is a nice um, synopsis of it. It was actually two years, uh, three years ago, excuse me, four years ago, 2017. Um, and it's just fascinating. She was a fascinating and intelligent person. Um, a great scientist and really, um, really started um, waking up America on our environmental impact. And um, like I said, um, helped to inspire the EPA and the Clean and Air and Water Act and all of that. So definitely check that out. Remember, you have a total of 20 uh, credits each month that you can use. And um, you can find a lot other, a, a lot other, a lot, a lot more. That's the word I'm looking for. Videos from PBS, and um, then they can try to find some ones that are kind of related here, a lot, like here, climate of change, people fighting um, for the environment, and here's some other uh, people that watch this particular uh, documentary. Also watch these. So you can check out uh, Rachel Carson um, on, uh, it's from American Experience from PBS. So definitely check that out. And we're gonna go back out. We're going to come up here to research databases. I'm gonna click there and we're gonna go to online courses. And we're going to come back to Creative Bug, but I wanted to point out Hobbies and Crafts Reference Center. We've done a Lunch and Learn passed uh, on this, this resource. It's a great resource. There's all sorts of things on here, arts and crafts, model building, scrapbooking, uh, viewing all the topics, outdoor recreation. Also, Home and Garden is on here as well. But I'm just going to type up here the words of the day, Earth Day. And I'm going to hit search. And this is... Uh, it's a collection of all sorts of magazines. And here, when we just type in Earth Day, it comes up to almost 17,000 results. Now, I can do all sorts of different ways to look at the search. I can go to the basic search and advanced search. But I just want to point out a few things here. You'll notice that there's a title. And then if you see a full PDF, you're going to actually see what it appeared in the magazine. So this um, activate the music magazine for grades K through six. This is an April, May edition from 2019. And you would actually see that. And that's a celebration of Earth Day. Watch your SEP. You can see a little bit about the International Earth Day in 2002. Earth Day Delights. This is for vegetar from Vegetarian Designs. Uh, Times, I'm sorry, Vegetarian Times. And uh, so if I click here, I can see the entire thing. Just give it a moment to pop in. And there's all sorts, while it's popping in here, there's a couple of things. You can download it, you can print it. You can also add a link. And I've added a link, not to this one, but to, to another one. But these are uh, vegan choices and some recipes you can check out. Back and show you Earth Day dinner. Now, I did provide a link for you for this, and we'll make sure the links are all activated. This is Earth Day dinner. Now, if I click right here to the PDF full text, remember it takes a moment to load in. And once again, I can print it, I can add a link, I can uh, download it, um, I can do all sorts of different things. But here's an Earth Day dinner. Um, that will help you create a salad dressing, uh, create um, different salads, uh, have a fish, and of course a, a recipe for um, a dessert as well. So definitely check that out. That's an Earth Day dinner. 
I'd love to hear if anyone has created that. So let me go back one more. And I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna just go ahead and click back into our main site and go back to research databases and go to online courses. We're gonna to go to Creative Bug. And remember, Creative Bug has a variety of arts and crafts projects and over a thousand videos. I'm gonna click here. Now, it did have a little library card next to it, so you would need to put in your library card number. And then your pen. I'm just gonna already have it there, there we go. And you only have to do that every time though. That's the one thing because it is an um, exclusive just for our library system. So you might want to check that out. Now, <coughs> I already, excuse me, I already typed in Earth Day up here and I received this one, make a plan for Earth Day. And this was actually created back in 2017. And I'm just going to say play again. And I'll let it run just for a moment. Hi everybody, it's Faith from Creative Bug coming at you live-ish. We actually had to tape this a little bit earlier, but as you are watching it, I will also be watching it. I'll be watching you watch me, which is kind of spooky, but it's gonna be terrific because I'll be able to answer any questions you have as you watch. Today, in honor of Earth Day, we are making upcycled, recycled plastic yarn, which some people call plarn, but that word doesn't sit very comfortably in my mouth. Let me know how you feel about the word Plarn, you don't have to tell me how you feel about the concept of Plarn because it's obviously fantastic. What you're going to need is... All right, so she tells you step-by-step step how to create Plarn, which she explained is yarn made out of plastic. And she's using recycled bags um, that we want to try to make sure that we do not uh, put back into the environment. Um, but as you can see, the instructors here on Creative Bug are very, very personable um, and they really um, take you step by step. So this video is just eight minutes long. I can't play the whole thing today, um, but there's all sorts of different things on here for classes. But this is one that I found that was specific to Earth Day. Um, but, you know, when you're recycling any kind of thing, yarn or um, you have t-shirts that you're making into a blanket or a quilt. Um, that's a great way to help the environment at the same time, Earth. So that's perfect. Now the gallery right here just has these two examples. This is some um, plarn that they've made. And you're right, I'm not really sitting well with me as well. But here's another picture of um, someone that created something using these plastic bags. When I think of this, I think of the um, chains that people used to make when it came to using, this is dating me. Um, my, I remember my sister making things with uh, um, gum wrappers and creating different chains and different things like that. Um, so definitely check out uh, Making Plarn uh, for Earth Day on Creative Bug. Now, there are a couple of things that I want to point out, but the and time is running out. So let me just go to this one right here. Um, if you're wanting to celebrate Earth, you might, your <laughs> Earth Day, you might want to enjoy it quickly before, of course, the cicada invasion happens sometime in, in, um, in May. Yeah, there's certain conditions that have to happen. We're having an event, um, a live event, that is happening virtually next Monday. It's April the 26th and it's from four to five. And it says right here in the description, the cicadas are coming. Are you ready for the invasion? Learn all about these tiny creatures from a cicada expert. So we'll have an expert there. Um, there's still lots of seats that you can register for. Um, it should be kind of fun. Um, definitely check that out. All right, I'm going to click out and tell you a few more things and uh, we'll call it a day.
Well, all right. That is a lot of different ways you can celebrate Earth Day, which is today. Um, there's all those activities that are happening this weekend as well, but you can always celebrate Earth Day. Um, you can, of course, check out uh, the link that has uh, the Earth Day menu that you could create a dinner. You don't have to create it tonight. You could create it this weekend. Uh, you can definitely um, learn how with Creative Bug, how to make uh, yarn out of plastic bags, which is fascinating, I thought. Um, and of course, um, check out um, Campy for the wonderful documentary about Rachel Carson, a very instrumental in in individual who wrote Silent Spring. It's a great documentary, um, check that out. And of course, Hoopla has all of the national parks right there from Ken Burns, that series that he did a few years ago. So check that out. Obviously, we would love you to go out and enjoy the earth, uh, take care of the earth, um, do something with kids to get them involved, uh, recycle, do all sorts of different things. Uh, but don't forget, you still can sign up for Cicada Invasion. <laughs> we might do it. I don't know. We might do a lunch and learn all about cicadas. I don't know. Um, but that is happening, um, and I provided the link for that as well. That's happening April the 26th, and that's from 4 to 5. You can learn all about cicadas before they get here in May. Uh, next week, we'll have another Lunch and Learn. I'll see you. Have a good day, and celebrate Earth Day.